We're very much in a battle for sixth place then as we take on Leicester and Arsenal away from home in the final days of the season. Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021. This is part 59 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. Today, as I've said, we've got two big matches uh, as we are looking to finish sixth in the league. Since you were last with me, things have gone very well again. We beat Chelsea 3-1 away from home at Stamford Bridge. Uh, Tammy Abraham scoring against his former club and Ollie Watkins getting a brace there. Uh, we then drew one all disappointingly against Wolves. Uh, Jorge Salah is getting a goal for us there, but we could not take advantage of our dominance. And most recently, we beat Manchester City 4-0. This was a, a really sweet uh, result, actually. And if you look at our past meetings, we generally have very good results against Man City. We have, um, you know, beaten them 6-1 in the past, 3-1 uh, there, 4-0 most recently. And last season, we beat them as well. So... Yeah, we've we've done really well um, against City generally, and it looks like it's another one of them glitches where we've played them twice at home this season. Shall we have a little look at that? Actually, um... <laughs> yeah, we we <laughs> we've played Man City twice at home this season. Uh, we've played Man United at home twice as well. That's bizarre. It really is bizarre. Um, anyone else that we've played at home twice? It doesn't look like it from that screen. Please let me know um, if that's happened to, to, to anyone else. Because that's happened a couple of times in the save now, which is it's just crazy, isn't it? Uh, so if you have a little look at the Premier League table, we're, we're currently in 7th on 56 uh, from 36 games. Let's just have a little look at the, at the home record and how many games we've actually had at home. Um, well, we've had 19, which is what we're meant to have. So we must have played certain teams away from home twice. Um, I'm, I'm really curious about this all now. Um, who have we played away from home twice? Arsenal and Leicester. Well, there you go. There you go. So that's a strange glitch to happen isn't it uh, with the fixture list but who, who cares who cares um this is the team that we've got for today we will of course have uh, the end of season review um after the two matches today as well we've got martinez starting goal with estevez by brindley and kurt in defense we've then got good and pogba in the middle of the park with Oscar Garcia and Neymar starting wide of Calvert-Lewin and Tammy Abraham up top. So let's get into it then. Uh, the penultimate match of the season. We're in really good form uh, recently. So that obviously means we're, we're going to end up losing um, losing both matches. Uh, let's go for the pundits one. That one does work some of the time. So we'll see. Uh, we're going to encourage the boys straight away. If we do win today, um, we have an excellent chance, of course, of finishing sixth. It's out of our hands somewhat because if Leicester then go on to win their next two matches, um, they will finish sixth. And it is uh, a penalty. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but apparently it is a penalty. Tielemans is the man in question. Uh, and here comes the referee. Is it going to be a penalty? And if so, I think we're going to have to change Neymar. No, it is not a penalty. Well, probably a good job because we ended up missing it and destroying Neymar for the game. But uh, that, look, that looked like it could have been a chance for us there. And it's a shame that that wasn't a, a penalty. Here's Ndidi. Now to Tielemans on the ball. Sprays it out wide at time. And now here's Edward. Uh, oh, and it's 1-0. And it's Vershakin. With the with the goal there, and within nine minutes of this game, we have gone one nil down, and that is a, a bit of a shame, really. Uh, we're going to go attacking. We're also going to berate the boys. That's what I always do when we go one nil down. Now, when it hey, it's worked for the last uh, few matches. We can, by the way, finish as low as tenth today, so um, that would be a bit of a disappointment um, at the end of this season, really. But 
Hey, we'd, we'd have took 10th after the first four matches. Here's Garcia, gets it forward. Abraham flicks it on. And that's Neymar chasing it, but he hasn't got the pace in those old legs anymore. 34 years old now, Neymar, and I think... Um, it, it, this is probably his last season of being a mainline player. What a goal that is from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Ninth of the season for him. I mean, if we continue with this system going forward, I do honestly see uh, the likes of Calvert-Lewin, the likes of Abraham, the likes of Watkins getting back up to those standards of a couple of seasons ago. And I'm really excited about it because Salas is in there as well as the wonder kid. Who can, who can change things, Glatzel in there, you know, I'm really excited about that, here's Tom Good, Tom Good on the ball, gets it to Pogba now, Pogba to Calvert-Lewin, he has Oscar Garcia, who has come good in the last couple of games as well, and we're 2-1 up at uh, Leicester City, and I'm going to stay attacking for the next 10 minutes, we've got momentum here, let's go and grab a couple of more goals, and put this game beyond doubt, it was an excellent ball from Tammy Abraham to Oscar Garcia, and a great finish from the young uh, right winger there, and we're now 2-1 up, but here's, oh that's a terrible tackle uh, from Bay, and that's going to be a red card I think, it is, well, we're going to have to change tack now, I think. Um, that's that's a shame. I'm going to move Oscar Garcia and Neymar uh, back a little bit um, and stick them on support duties. Um, Emre Kurt is going to come into the the defence. And um, which one? I, it's a shame because Calvert-Lewin and... Abraham are playing really well. This seems like a terrible idea. We're going to take Neymar off and leave the gap in left midfield instead. But that's that's a shame for Eric Bai because he's you know got himself back into the team recently and he's just hacked down a player there and got a red card, which is a shame. He has Oscar Garcia on the right-hand side. We can still go forward. We can still attack. Gets it in. Abraham away. I d didn't mean to keep it on attacking, by the way. Um, and this this could be where our less man, one less man, costs us. And Timo Werner, 26th goal of the season for him. He's had a little bit of a uh, of a good good season for Leicester, hasn't he? Because he he was really struggling at Chelsea. Uh, didn't score any goals at all, and he scored 20 this season. We had a chance to sign him at the start. It didn't quite, didn't quite go to plan though, um, because we we didn't fancy him <laughs> because he was not scoring at Chelsea. But he's just scored 20 goals, uh, and if, I suppose if we uh, have found out anything this season, it's take a punt on these great quality players that that haven't necessarily had the best time, um, in you know so far, because they could do a really good job, um, because Tammy Abraham hasn't had the best time, and yet we've we've took a, a gamble on him this season, and you know it was a forty million pound gamble, and well it's it's gone very well so far. Oh, Aaron's nearly getting sent off there by the looks of it. But half time, and it is three uh, two two. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, pump fists, come on! We're 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 a man down, but we can still get a result. I think I think that's what we go for. Um, and hopefully that'll that'll do us some good. Um, Tommy Abraham apparently. Is struggling out there. Here's Tom Good with the corner. Emre was there but couldn't do anything with it. He has Garcia now. Oscar Garcia to Brindley. Back to Max Ahrens. Gets it forward towards Pogba but Ndidi gets it away. Daryl Brindley on the ball. Ahrens all the way back to Emiliano Martinez who boots it clear. Calvert-Lewin was there for the flick on but didn't do anything. Here's Werner. Gets it forward to Harvey Barnes and what a call that is from Harvey Barnes. That was very special indeed. And well, Leicester have gone 3-2 up here. And that was, that was a fabulous uh, finish. And Timo Werner got it forward. One touch. And then Harvey Barnes with the finish. 
That was brilliant. Pogba's going to come off. We're going to stick Jimmy Madison on instead. Uh, Tom Good's not had a good game either. We'll stick Declan Rice on for him. And we are... Oh, Abraham's took a knock. That's annoying. Uh, there's not much we can do, but here's Garcia on the right-hand side. Can he whip it in? He's still going. Calvert-Lewin was there, and somehow he's missed that. Here's Aaron's now. Aaron's to Madison. Madison continues, hits the post against his former club. 20 minutes to go here. Come on, boys. Estevez. Here's Garcia now. Declan Rice on the ball. Gets it forward. Estevez. Oh, nearly went out of play. He's still got it. Here's Garcia. Estevez, go on son, gets it in, Calvert-Lewin with the header, and he's missed a good couple of chances now as Calvert-Lewin, and although he had a good start of the game, maybe we should have brought him off earlier on, and we might have still been in this, here's Garcia, Calvert-Lewin now, nope, back pass, clears it, but Aaron's gets it back. Here's Tammy Abraham. We've kept him on the pitch. Gets it in. And Madison, who scores? Jimmy Madison with the finish there. 16 minutes to go in this match. And uh, he's looked like a bundle of joy today, hasn't he? Against his former club, he's looked really up for it. Look at him moving into the channels there. And Tammy Abraham with his third assist of the match. And it's 3-3 after Madison gets the finish there. We've got 10 minutes left. Can we go and get a winner? That's what we need if we want to finish 6th. We really don't want to finish 7th this season. We're going to go very attacking, which is crazy with 10 men against a quality side like Leicester away from home. 5 minutes at a time. Is there going to be a last minute winner here? Timon Brindley gets it away. Here's Kenner. Now to Tielemans. Oh, gets it in. Oh, and it's a late winner for Leicester City. Ah, oh, Edward with the finish there. It was a wonderful ball through uh, by uh, Tielemans there, who took it out wide. And look at this for a Pearson uh, cross along the floor. And, well, is there going to be some final minute drama here? Pavon with the corner gets it in. It's away by Brindley. Now he has Stugio. Runs it out of play. We have got the throw here. It's past the five minutes added on. Oh, what was that from Emre? That was very poor. Can we get it back? Uh, unless we're going to hit them on the break here. This is a very strange highlight. Kenner. Ndidi. Pavon. Aaron's gets it away and that is full time and we have gone down to Leicester City. I think it was mainly down to being to 10, 10 men a day. We were 2-1 up um, when Eric Bailly made that mistake and well 4-3. We're, we're out of the running for 6th now. There's no way we can finish there and I certainly don't want to finish 7th. So I'm kind of tempted to play the kids against Arsenal and just hope for the best. It seems like a bad idea to just throw a match, but I really don't want to be in the Europa Conference League. I'd rather finish 8th. Um, we can finish as low as 10th, as, as I said. But 10th is as good as 8th, I want to say. So, yeah, we're going to play the kids. Could be a risky one long term. Well, I'm not uh, <laughs> playing the kids, but we're, we're playing... a. Uh, shall we say um, an extended friendly match looking at some of our options for next season about what we what we could do now Jordan Henderson he's agreed to move uh, to Celtic so he will be leaving at the end of the year which you know is, is a good move for him I think um, we'll miss his experience he has um, you know been part of our mentoring groups this year and actually when he's been called upon in matches this year at least he's done reasonably well and you know I think uh, it's the perfect fit for Celtic and uh, allows us to, to utilize some of our younger players um, at the start of next season um, so yeah well you know using it as an extended test session if you like uh, we've got Costa in goal we've then got Cancelo, Christensen, Rice and Kurt in defense we've then got Mulder and Henderson in the middle with Hudson, Adoy and Yotta starting wide of Jones and Glatzel up top. 
I'm not expecting much uh, from this Arsenal match. I'm really hoping that, that we don't win it. Because I don't want to finish 7th. Uh, I do, do not want to um, finish in, in the Europa Conference League places. If we are serious and we do want to win the the Premier League next year. And we've got to do that for the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge. Um you know, we, we don't want to have the distraction of a Conference League campaign, which we did win it a couple of years ago, so I'm not bothered um, about that. Here's Saka running down the left-hand side. What's he going to do? He's going to be fouled by Cancelo. I mean, it looked like a, a good tackle to me, but uh, we won't complain if, if it is a penalty because it gives Arsenal a chance early on here to score. Um, Kevin Friend is, is looking at the footage. And knowing Kevin Friend, he's probably going to give that as a penalty. And he does give it as a penalty, even though it was actually a brilliant tackle, I think, by Cancelo. But uh, it's going to be uh, Maxi Gomez that steps up and scores. So Arsenal are 1-0 up. Oh dear, whatever will we do? <laughs> should I mess around with it with a shout? What should we say? Focus. Uh, that always yeah that always goes goes well doesn't it telling them to focus it would be nice to see Glatzel pick up a couple of goals maybe even Ricky J Jones getting on the score sheet as well um as players that that I really want uh, to build into this team but um well it's two 0 now Maxi Gomez right let's praise them <laughs> let's praise them they'll think I've gone insane there we go. Let's praise the boys. They're doing really well out there, aren't they? <laughs> it's weird throwing a match. It really is. Liverpool are going to win the title, by the way, and we beat them 5-2 five, um, five earlier this this year, or 4-2 or whatever it was. Um, so that's, that's a good sign. You know, we have beaten a lot of the top teams recently. Um, and, you know, I know we're throwing this match, but... Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you guys would would say playing conference football is is better than no football. But actually, um, uh, you know, it'll give us the extra rest. You know, I'd I'd even low key prefer it to finishing uh, in the Europa League spot. So I'm I'm really not bothered. Um, throwing the water bottle usually works uh, to to make them feel uninspired. Um, but yeah, this this is going well, it's about as well as we we could expect. It's not looking so bad that it's obvious that we've thrown it, but um, you know we're not doing anything to 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 impress in this match. So you know, finishing ninth is is not too bad, really. Back in the top half this year, which at the start of the year was was what my target was, finishing the top half. And hey, we we look like we we might even finish eighth, which it it'd be a good a good season on the whole. Cancelo gets a four to J Ricky J Jones. <laughs> don't score. <laughs> you don't need to score, mate. Um, here's Cancelo into the middle and it's it's cleared. Here's Hudson Adoy now. What's he gonna do with it? Henderson. Oof. Yeah, Henderson's well past his sell by date these days. Um Magno. Here's Mulder. Mulder on the ball. Pushing forward. You don't don't get too dangerous. That's it. Pass it backwards. I'm happy keeping the ball. I just don't want to score. Here's Henderson. Gets a forward to Diogo Yotta, who hits the post. And what a save from Leno there. Um, by the way, we've extended Paul Pogba's loan for next season. So I'm really excited about that one. Because he has been one of our truly key players um, in the second half of the year. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to having him uh, at the football club again next year. And uh, hopefully we can achieve some good things. Diogo Yota, what a run this is. What a goal that is. <laughs> well, that was brilliant from Diogo Yota, who honestly hasn't played too much this season, really. Um, he can think, think of himself as a little bit hard done by, but I see him in the Neymar role next year, 
um, in this left wing position because I do think we're going to have to phase Neymar Neymar down a bit next year. We'll we'll give him the start of the season to, to prove he can do it still, but um, oh, but yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be too mad. Oh, we're up to seventh. Hang on, when did we score the other goal? Did I just miss that? When did Ricky J. Jones score? When did that happen? I, I genuinely don't know when that happened. I, am I insane? Right. Never do this, folks. It's a terrible idea. I do not want to finish seventh. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Ricky J. Jones can go in goal. That's surely, surely Arsenal are going to win this. Surely. Oh, my God. They're not, are they? I, I, I want to see Ricky J. Jones goal. Apparently not, but Jones gets it away. Surely this has got to be an Arsenal goal. Surely. Yes! <laughs> Marcelo Flores scores. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, not going to move it back yet because we may well score. We may well score. Jordan Henderson... Oh my God, that was nearly nearly the moment. Maxi Gomez is going to run it down. Jones gets it away. Saliba now. Cancelo gets it forward. Oh no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Saka, go on, son. Go on. Yes. <laughs> ah, what a tactic. What a tactic. A surefire way to get beat. Oh, dear. Now, I don't want to get absolutely thumped. Jones gets a clear. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be 5-2. Oh, oh, it hits the post. Oh, no! <laughs> well, I mean, 5-2 is a bit a bit worse than I, than I wanted, but um, hopefully the ref just blows his whistle now. There we go. That was a close one, folks. That was a close one. Um, thrash arms. I'm far from pleased. How dare you perform in that fashion? Um, but we finish it, you know, which I think is is our <laughs> is our preferred outcome. Let's be honest. Leicester have gone, um, and they, you know, they would have finished sixth either way. Uh, had we beaten them, we would have been on fifty nine. They would have been on sixty. We would have had to have beaten. Arsenal. I still want to see this Ricky J. Jones goal, though. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to believe it existed. Um, we are going to have to go back and, and, and see that that happened. Um, oh, we've, well, we've got the, the we've got the season review first. We can do that, and then we can look back on Ricky J. Jones's uh, wonderful goal, phantom goal, beach ball goal, probably. But uh, here we are then. Now, these are the transfer signings that we've made. Uh, Tammy Abraham, 42 million. Quite a, a large sum, let's be honest. But, um, you know, he did really well when he came in. He scored 10 goals and 8 assists in 12 appearances. That's a pretty good signing. Uh, they're disappointed with a Paul Pogba loan deal. Couldn't disagree more with that, um, actually. He, he, he was very instrumental in winning um, the um, in, in winning the amount of matches we did towards the end. Diogo Costa, not the best signing, I'll be honest. Uh, Mohamed Mulder, I was happy with him when he played. Um, but actually, £26 million we spent on him. I don't remember spending that much money on him. Oh, we went insane. 21 million, actually. 
Um, so let's let's not get that wrong, board. Come on. Uh, Jorge Sales, you know, he was all right. Th nine goals in, in 13 starts. Um, you know, I think there's more to come from him. Thomas Estevez, really happy with that signing. Emery Kurt, happy with that one. Um, you know, 9.9 .9 million is pennies for him. Callum hudson Adoy did all right um, in the matches that he played. Oscar Garcia did well. Um, Francesco Oliveira, of course, he's went out on loan. Um, so hopefully he, you know, will be a good player um, in the in the future. Ricky J. Jones did all right. He scored a phantom goal at the end. Declan Rice, again, another 50 million sign and that didn't do as well as advertised. Um, Lucas came in and provided uh, good support at left back. Uh, Oliver Hanan, another player that we brought in uh, on a free transfer, did all right again um, for us, uh, but actually didn't play anything while he was out on loan at Werder Bremen. That's, that's terrifying to see. Oh, I wish I'd picked up on that sooner. Well, that's a big shame. We'll have to we'll have to send him out on loan next season. Um, loans out, so you can have a little look at this. Greco did pretty well. Um, he was at Boca Juniors this year. Gerard Ortiz did well. Um, he's the the right back that we signed for thirty four million a couple of years ago. So I think he'll be ready uh, to come back into the first team. Danny Hansen. Did all right at Columbus Crew. Belurdy, 27 years old now, uh, down at, uh, at Hull City. Didn't have the best of seasons. Jacob Ramsey, I think he's another one that's that's going to be going. Uh, Francesco Oliveira did well at Angers. Um, uh, Borgard did all right. Uh, Carmelo Gina, two goals and four assists. Not too bad. And Oliver Hanan. Uh, and Carney Chucky. Um, did all right, did all right. Transfers out. Uh, Carlson went and did an all right job at Dynamo Kiev. Laid did a good job at, at, at Arsenal. Uh, Victor Nelson, of course, went to Genoa. Had a decent season there. Loftus-Cheek, wow. Ten goals and two assists in 34 appearances. Well, I never. Oh, he was down in the championship, to be fair. Um, to be fair, that, <laughs> you know... Uh, but here's the season results. So um, finishing the top half, we finished eighth. I was quite happy with that. Average home attendance of 39,000. Top goal scorer was Tammy Abraham, and he only came in in January. League table looks like that. We obviously threw the last match. Um, you know, Otherwise, we would have finished seventh, which would have been an even better season. Um, and you can look at our competition results, mainly helped by this period here where we won uh, seven matches in eight. And then, unfortunately, the last two days of the season uh, didn't go to plan. Uh, moments to remember, we beat Colchester 5-0 uh, back in August. That was our biggest win. Match to remember was the 5-1 victory over Everton. We did do really well in that match. Um, and five different goal scorers there. Goal of the season was... Are you kidding me? Oh, no, Diogo Yotta. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Ricky J. Jones's uh, phantom goal, which I'm hopefully going to see now. Let's have a look at this. Let's see if this actually loads. Because we did not see this on camera. I swear we did not see this. Um... But it was Ethan Laird against his former club. He pushed forward. Then Thomas got it to Darwin. And then Darwin lost it to Emre. Magno got it in. Emre got it back. I'm still not seeing how we get a goal out of this. Magno then to Darwin. Then to Maguan. And Emre got it back and started bombing down the left. Got it to Glatzel. Of course, it was Glatzel involved. Glatzel then uh, crossed it but mi missed out. And Saliba got it away. Was there actually a goal here? Emre to Yotta. What is going on? It's an Arsenal free kick. I mean, that's one minute. Hang on. Hang on. That's Yotta's goal. So Yotta scored. And then apparently, Ricky J. Jones scored straight after. 
But I genuinely think this is a phantom goal. We're, we're going to watch this like Hawks. We're going to watch this. Because th th this is actually quite creepy. He has laid, and then howls. I mean, this just does not look like your conventional highlight, does it? And the goal does not appear on the top there. I'm not insane. We didn't score. Henderson got it back. Fouled. You know, we're in the 84th minute now, and I'm sure it was the 83rd minute that apparently Ricky J. Jones scored. This is so bizarre. So unless we score from, from this... I'd I'd love to see the moment in in the in the video <laughs> where I mean I'm gonna look back at it in editing and just see where this went wrong. Darwin got it in. Maxi Gomez over the bar. So that's you know eighty six minute now, and Jay Jones apparently scored in the 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 eighty third minute. Let's just double check one more time. Right, this is the 83rd minute. Well, we'll go from Yota's goal again. So that was Yota's goal. That was brilliant. Bravo to him. And then that's the kickoff. Leno's got the ball there. Saliba gets it forward. Then Mulder. Then Saka. And we're coming up to the 83rd minute. Now, so that is the 83rd minute starting now. So unless he scores between now and when it ticks over to 83, it did not happen. Laid to Howells. Howells on the ball. Back to Leno. That's cleared. Out for a throw in. And another 10 seconds pass. And unless he scores in the next four seconds, which he doesn't, the phantom goal. Have you ever seen anything like it? I am... I'm just... Beyond belief. Right, so let's just watch the goals. Let's just make sure we're not being silly here. Here's the second goal. So that's 2-0 Arsenal. And then Diogo Yacht has goal. He's bombs down the left-hand side. Scores that. And then, then it crashes. So it actually is a phantom goal. Bizarre. Bizarre. But anyway, um, we, we've not made quite as much money um, in, in other things, which is a shame. Uh, Declan Rice sold the most um, shirts. Abraham, Yotta, Martinez, Neymar down there. How we lined up looked like this. Um, so that was the best 11 of the season. Top goal scorer was, of course, Tammy Abraham with 10. And then 10 for Neymar as well. 8 for Pogba. That's what I mean. Pogba has been amazing. 4 for Tom Good. <laughs> um, and there you go. Uh, the accolades. We didn't win any awards, unfortunately. Club awards, though. Player of the season is Emiliano Martinez again. Young player of the season is uh, Daryl Brindley, who's now a wonder kid. That's very interesting because we've given him so much first-team football over the last two seasons. He's now become a wonder kid. Very, very good um, to see um, because he's, you know, homegrown as well. Uh, Tammy Abraham signing of the season. Diogo Yacht at goal of the season. And we'll finish that there. Um... And there you go. I mean, it says Ricky J. Jones 
on David New Darwin Nunez's mistake to score a tidy finish. Let's just save it in case we blow up the whole world with this. We can at least bring it back to that point. Um, so we. So it was apparently at this moment. What? <laughs> I'm desperate to find this goal. It's lost in the archives. Nobody's seen it. It was just the world cons conspiring against us. Um, hang on, is Thierry, uh, Thierry Henry is Arsenal's manager now? That's that's crazy. Um, Arsenal, uh, Aston Villa have been given that amount of money. I want to see what our budget's going to be. Is it at the top here? It usually is, isn't it? Oh, it's not quite. Um, what does it say? Yeah, it's usually not too far different. Is it on finances? I mean, our finances are shocking, by the way. Um, next season's budget apparently thirty-three million. We'll see what what happens with all of that. But uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm complete completely in disbelief of what's just happened. We've had the phantom goal uh, scored by Ricky J. Jones. Okay, um, and that is where we're going to leave it for season six. We've got one more season of uh, the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge guaranteed. If we win the title, we can continue, uh, try and win the double, try and win the, the, the treble and all of that. But all our eggs are into one basket next season. We have got to win the title. So we've got to start on the right foot. We've got to win the big, big games and just not drop any points basically so that's uh, what we're going to be doing tomorrow i'll round you up with the transfers i won't bother doing a, a transfer special we will just um get straight into the first matches of the season uh, and i'll show you who i have come up with so if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a big thumbs up down below uh, subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content from a monday to a friday and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye